Let's kick it. Ice, ice, baby. Ice, ice, baby. Welcome to episode 10. In this episode, I'm going to show you me whale watching in Todo Santos. I'm going to show you me swimming with whale sharks in La Paz. And I'm going to run through some analysis of the trip so far. Hope you enjoy. So we are in Todo Santos. It is 7 a.m. We're at a beach called Punta Lobos Beach. We're just waiting to be taken on a whale watching tour. In fact, they're moving the boat behind me right now. The size of these waves, we're wondering how we're going to get in the get in the water so it remains to be seen it's going to be interesting here with four people from the hostel who organized this they came down to the beach yesterday just started speaking to the fishermen to see what price we could get to go out and watch some whales apparently we can see some already out there i haven't seen any it's whale season in mexico so whales are everywhere let's go see if we can find some and now in the water ali's about to fish all right guys i'm fishing now <laughs> I'll let you know if I catch the mahi mahi. It's what are you dinner tonight? We're meant to be looking for whales. Ali's fishing. <laughs> it's dinner for you. <laughs> Appreciate. We managed to get off the beach. We are now out and looking for whales. Nuna is up front, leading the way. Want to say hey, Pepe? Go ahead. <laughs> we have a guide up front, but I'm pretty sure Nuna is telling him where we're going and what we're doing. Yes, <laughs> oh, there it is. Wow. Like I've never seen a whale come out of the water. I'm oh. Sure it's bad. oh, wow. <laughs> He's having fun. Yeah, whoa. They're getting less energetic. He's getting tired. Let's go, Ali. You hungry? <laughs> After the first whale we saw and Ali doing some fishing, we saw a pod of dolphins which we jumped into the water to swim with and then finally the whale watching tour was over. We experienced this in order to get back to shore. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! This is it! Race! 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 So, a huge thank you to Jim and Patty. They let me order the Shimano part to them, the new crank arm, and it has arrived. I'm just opening up the box, see what else we've got, because of course Jim and Patty sent me some other goodies. The Shimano crank, peanut butter, coffee goodies, some electrolytes, <laughs> and some floss. I am now waiting for my friend Ward, a friend of Debbie's. He's gonna come around this morning. We're going to fix the bike up and then I'm cycling back to La Paz. Ward is on his way over to help me fix this. It's time for me to take apart my short-term fix. There we go, there's the old piece. Ground down to absolutely nothing. Coke can that saved the day. Ward has helped me fix the bike and he's gone off to the gym. So we are in our final moments at Todo Santos Hostel. Spent the past week, Christmas here, having a great time salsa dancing and partying and relaxing at the beach and seeing the whales. Now it's time to get back on the road, heading to La Paz now. Gonna head out on the bike. Can't throw this away yet. We're gonna see what happens, but hopefully everything's okay. Right, see you in La Paz. <laughs> Today we are going to swim with the whale shark <laughs> and with the sea lions also. I can't breathe. <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> okay, chicos, muy buenos días. The whale shark tour was absolutely incredible. We got there nice and early. Um, there's only a certain number of boats that are allowed in the bay where the whale sharks come to feed. There wasn't too many boats around. The middle of this beautiful bay, we jumped straight in. We're swimming beside them. What happens is the whale shark will swim along quite fast, but then they'll pause to feed. They filter the krill out of the water while staying 
relatively stationary and you can just hang around right next to them. They were absolutely stunning. It does take about five minutes to, for you to forget that you're swimming with a shark. The size of these things was just incredible. But after a while, you just forget what you're swimming next to and then you're just taking in the beauty. Absolutely amazing. Holy shit! <laughs> we got him! <laughs> the ultra rare whale shark. <laughs> After the whale sharks, we cruised over to an island called Espirito Santo, which is home to a sea lion colony. The water on this side was freezing cold, so you can't tell from the video, but we were all absolutely freezing. The first stop, you go inside a cave where the young sea lions love to play. Inside the cave, they're jumping around and nipping at your flippers. You can see that the guide that we were with was playing with them with his hands. This was just absolutely incredible. They were so fun. So much fun. It was awesome. Once we were done inside the cave, we cruised along to the outskirts of the island. We were hoping to go around to the far side. Unfortunately, a few of the sea lines were a bit too close, so we just hung around the coral and were left to explore. It was amazing. The sea lines here were coming up so close. Some of the footage I have, I wasn't even aware I was filming. I didn't even know there were sea lines next to me. This was just... You can see them as well, they super playful, they were playing with bits of coral, they'd break off, chucking it up in the air, it was fun to watch them play in their, in their habitat, they can move so quickly, so agile, absolutely awesome. After the sea lines we headed back towards La Paz, but not before stopping for lunch at a beautiful beach, which you can see here. And then on the way back, we saw a pod of dolphins, which came right up to the boat and was just a, a wonderful end to a beautiful day. <laughs> Hello from Guanajuato, guys. This is where I am. It's in a big valley. I actually came in from a mountain in the background there, cycled down through the mountain and past all the churches. And we are up at the El Papilla Monument. I'm gonna film a little analysis for you guys. So, huge apologies. The audio for this section was absolutely horrendous. I've had to re-record some of this, some of the original footage I've used, so it's gonna be a mishmash. Here is the analysis that I will be running through. So first up, I am in country number three. I am in Mexico. I have cycled 11,200 kilometers so far, which puts me roughly 40% of the way through this amazing trip. I set off 168 days ago and I've cycled for 101 of those days. If you look at the average distance I've been doing over the whole trip, it's about 68 kilometers a day. But if you look at the days I've been cycling, I average just over 110 kilometers. My total bike time for my poor bum is 560 hours and I have climbed just over 112,000 meters, which is roughly 13 Mount Everest. And I've done all of this with an average speed of 20.0 kilometers an hour. And now for some of the biggest and best. My longest day in the saddle was 177 kilometers. That was from a place called Whitehorse to Teslin Lake. The biggest climbing day was back on the Dalton Highway. That was awesome. It was from Yukon River to Colorado Creek, and that was 2,800 meters. God bless the Dalton Highway. The highest average temperature I've seen was um, back towards Mazatlan. It was 31 degrees. And the lowest temperature, I, you guessed it, was up in Alaska. That was as I crossed the Brooks Range. So that was three degrees average over the whole day. I've been below minus one, minus two over the actual mountain pass. My fastest speed was 90 kilometers an hour. <laughs> that was when I woke up from Cannon Beach. It was a big steep road. I only camped roughly 40% of the time, which did surprise me. And I've been hosted for another 40% of the time and with warm showers or with hosts along the way. So a huge thank you to everybody for <laughs> putting me up, which means that 20% I've paid for hotels, hostels, and one night on a ferry. Got 17,600 kilometers left of the proposed journey so far, which I've worked out that if I keep going at the current pace, I will arrive by the 13th of October. Now for some fun stuff. So far, 13 flat tires. Seven rain days. Six black bears. One grizzly. 
one snow day, one mechanical failure, one celebrity scene, and a conservative estimate of 20 kilograms of peanut butter consumed. Yeah, conservative estimate, it could be more. If there's anything you guys want to ask me, any questions, let me know. Happy to run through more analysis, happy to answer any questions you have in the next video. I try and post some more help videos. And so anything you guys want to see, let me know in the comments uh, and I will endeavor to do my best to include it. Peace.